Sam, we don't have time for this. No cell reception. If anything happens, we're on our own. Declan could be here already. I should be careful. Syringes, bottles. Basswood has been having a tough few years. <laughs> Falling off is the least of my worries right now. Finally pull yourself out of your days long enough to join me. I was worried about you. I think all that stress got me there, but I'm better now. I've got myself focused and together. I'm with you on this. It's good to hear you're back. So I guess this could be all of this madness coming to a close, right? Hopefully in the good way. Maybe we can bring Nick and Dennis some justice. I'm ready to see it end. We don't both need to do this. You can go home if you want. Maybe you should. You're sweet if a bit overly macho. I know the risks, but we haven't done too bad so far, right? So good try, but you're not getting rid of me that easily. Let's not waste time then. We should get back to finding those files. Any luck yet? I can't find them anywhere. Did Dickie say where the dead drop was? He didn't. We'll have to keep looking for it. Did you already go through that side? I've been looking everywhere. So far, all I've found is a lot of gum under tables. Declan could be here any minute. Let's hurry it up. <sighs> the dead drop doesn't seem to be here. Too exposed. This would be the classic choice, but no. Nothing. A precarious path out into the dark. Not a bad metaphor for my life right now. Rotten food. Probably too gross even for someone like Dickie. Nowhere to hide a USB stick here. Found it. You did? Let me see. With this? We'll be able to put Declan behind bars and clear your name. Come on. Hold it there, boss. Whoa. Declan. Now, you two just relax. We're here for the same reason. Now, all you have to do is give me what you found in that there lockbox. You... How could you look everyone in the eye and lie to them? You went to his wake? You drank with his friends? Yeah. It was harder than you think. What happened to the cop defending this town? You don't know nothing about losing the reins. Simple things breaking so bad, they just get more out of control until... Try busting your ass for people that don't respect you for just a cop's salary. I spent years serving this town. I actually believed in what I was doing, too. And then you murdered Nick. Don't start thinking I enjoyed doing it. It just had to be done. It was just the same as with that drunk fool, Dennis. All I wanted was to see how much he knew and get him to keep his mouth shut. Turns out he knew more than he should have. It doesn't have to end the same way this time. There's always another option. Almost sounds like you wising up some, Higgs. Doesn't look like you're willing to take the same fall from two years ago. Fuck that common good shit, right?
You're no different from the people you used to put in jail. How do you live with yourself, knowing what you sell is destroying people? Grow up, Sam. Anyone would do the same if they had the chance. Everybody's happy to shake my hand and say how grateful they are. But as soon as you turn around, they'll stab you in the back. Eventually, I realize that's how people are. The only thing left is to adapt. Help keep a lid on things. And if someone's got a profit, might as well be me. Nick and Dennis, that part wasn't supposed to happen. But here we are. And I'm done leaving behind loose ends. You asshole! Fast. Stay one step ahead of Declan. If I make even a single mistake, there are no second chances this time. He murdered Nick, he murdered Dennis, and he'll murder us. If I can predict his next moves, we might be able to get the upper hand. Who he is will tell me what he'll do. I could tackle Declan to get him off Anna. Throwing a rock at his head could disorient him. I could try going for his gun. Muley, it's time to give it your all. Don't underestimate Declan. He's stronger than he looks. Anna's got maybe a couple of seconds tops before he overpowers her. You gotta find a way to stop him, Sam. He'll kill you both. Declan came to tie up loose ends that night. Asshole, Asshole shot me with my own gun. There's a good chance he took it. Still has it on him. You need to watch out. You're no good to anyone, Dad. Take it from me. I could grab his gun. But that would only work if Anna keeps Declan occupied. Throwing a rock at his head could disorient him. Throwing a rock at his head could disorient him. I could grab his gun. It would only work if Anna keeps Declan occupied. Throwing a rock at his head could disorient him. See me. I have to use this to my advantage. I should strike him on his blind side and use the element of surprise. But that'll only work if I can predict what he'll do next. Think, Sam. Anna's safe for now. I need to keep it up. Declan might go for his gun.
Declan might continue going after Anna. You know, Declan's killed two people already. Put them in the dirt. But he kills for reasons, yeah? Who wants, wants to, to destroy you? the evidence? Since your girlfriend has it. You better act fast, man. Declan goes after Anna, my best move is to strike from the right. Give me the evidence now. You want to get shot? Wait! Here, take it. <laughs> Son of a bitch! If I don't do something, we're dead. But if I do the wrong thing... I have to stay focused. Account for all the elements at play here. I'm doing well. I have to stay one step ahead of Declan, and we'll get him. I could rush him and try and take his gun out of the equation. If I can get close enough, I can stop Declan from using his gun. It's definitely risky. Drop your gun, Declan. Anna! A woman has been shot. I need an ambulance. Just hurry! Okay, good. Stay with me. You have to stay with me. I'm fine. Don't worry. Anna, I'm... Anna, please! James at 104.3 WVCK, the Basswood Sound. You heard the news today? The local cop who died in that fatal shooting last week is apparently the head of a small opioid ring right here in Basswood. Crazy. It's believed he used his position to bring in drugs from all over the county and that he murdered two people in an attempted cover-up. Good news, however, the journalist who was wounded while confronting the rogue cop was released from the hospital today. Looks like I'm not the only one who's come to visit Anna. Sam, hold your horses. Anna's busy with the sheriff. You should probably give him a moment or two. Sure, Joe. How you been? How have I been? Son, I appreciate you being here for Anna, but you don't change what happened. My girl's hurt real bad. And things could have been even worse without you. You did good. Joe. No, Anna told me what you did. How hard you fought. Thank you for keeping your word. I wasn't thinking about the promise. I was just trying to get us not killed. You succeeded. But you better not drag my daughter into any more dangerous situations, all right? Where 
are they? Where are Dad's notebooks? The yellow legal pad ones? You can get them later. You need to say hello to the guests who just arrived. The yellow ones were Dad's favorites. I wanted to start Joan? using them. Uh, they've got to be here somewhere. Just Joan give me Waldron. a minute. Don't make me say it again. Fine. I guess it doesn't really matter. Careful, Muley. She's in one of her moods. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that. It was hard before, but now she's completely shut me out. It's not surprising, given what happened. This town is no place for a teenager. Kathy, now is the time to get out of Basswood. You don't understand. It's not that easy to leave. You've always managed to get Joan to talk to you. Any advice? You can't keep blaming her for everything. You also have to work on your own issues. What? Who are you to say that to me? You don't know the first thing about me. I know Joan feels you don't listen to her. She told me last week she was about to leave for her aunts. She even told me about your pills, Kathy. She did. And you didn't think to come warn me? This shows how much you really care about her. Anyway, I was going to take some time off work, get myself together. After everything that's happened, I figured it's time I got a hold of things. I didn't need you to tell me that. Take care of yourself, Sam. Hey, Bug. Hey, Muley. How are you holding up? Fine, I guess. Well, at least that's what most people want me to say when they ask. Come on, Bug. I want to know how you feel. How you really feel. I guess... better today than yesterday? Maybe? I still miss Dad. But finding out what happened to him... I don't know. Makes me feel a bit better. It's not bad that it makes me feel better, right? No. It's not bad. I feel the same way. Hey, Muley. Are you staying around this time? I can't stay, Bug. Oh. I talked to your mom. She's gonna try to do better by you. It won't be easy, but I know you can be strong. You have to try to work with her. She's still your mom. Uh, I'll try. I'm gonna miss you, Muley. I'll really miss you. Me too, Bug. I need to find Anna. Call me whenever you want to. Deal? Yeah. Deal. Walter. Samuel, my boy. As I live and breathe. I kept meeting to call, but phones are so... impersonal. How are you holding up? I'm actually doing pretty good. I feel like I'm finally in a place, mentally. Finally me. You went through something terrible, but I'm glad you came out the other end. I've had a brush myself with the Maker here and there, and I would never call them fun. Not fun at all. Life-affirming, though, definitely. Even for those close to you, it leaves a mark. Now, two members of my family of heart are gone. One is wounded. It might be time for me to finally hang up my saddle. The Basswood Jungle has printed its last pages. It's making you think it's finally the right time to retire, huh? Believe me, it doesn't feel right one bit, but my flame has run its course. Without Nick. Without Dennis. Can't run a paper by yourself. Nor would I want to. Well, I, I've taken up enough of your time. I'll leave you to the other guests. Drop me a line sometime. Drop me a line. So much stuff. Anna won't have to buy food for weeks. I guess it's their way of making her feel better. And you make sure to push yourself. Get some fresh air. Don't let these doctors keep you cooped up for too long now. 
Oh, Sam, you're finally here. I was looking for you. Now, I know you've been through hell and back. I know that. If there's anything the Basswood Police Department can do for you, or even just little old me, you give me a holler, all right? For now, well, I got some good news for you for once. We found Declan's fingerprints on Dennis's gun. And since your testimony and Anna's corroborate Dickie's statement, no charges are going to be filed against you or Anna. It's clear self-defense. Still hard to believe a man I trusted was running a drug ring. Here. You and the Basswood police have a lot to answer for. A lot. We do. Declan pulled the wool over all of our eyes. All I can say is, we're all just people. Ain't no such thing as the Basswood police. Just people entrusted with power. And Declan, as terrible as it seems he was, was not always a bad person. My sin is failing to see the man he became, rather than the one he once was. Don't make it sound like a small oversight. He was part of a drug ring. You're entitled to your opinion. Everyone is. No, I do my best. Well, I'd love to stay, but I'm afraid duty calls. Look after yourself, Sam. So... So... I wasn't sure you'd show up at all. I meant to get here before, but... You look better? <laughs> better than last week, I guess, but that's setting a low bar. It could have been even worse if you hadn't... You, know, you saved my life. Made sure I didn't get killed. I got you shot. Yeah, but only in a part I didn't need. I'm stronger than ever. Ow. <laughs> stronger mentally. What's wrong? I wish we'd gotten those files. The guy who was behind it all broke his neck trying to kill us. Case closed. I, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess. You guess. You're alive. Let it go and enjoy having lived. I am. I am enjoying it. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> so what are you going to do next with your unshot and healthy body? I'll finish up Nick's article. It's the least I can do for him. It's the least we can do. We'll finish the article together. Uh-huh. I should go. I had a feeling you would say that. You stay out of trouble, Sam Higgs. And maybe don't wait so long to darken my doorstep again. I guess we'll just have to see, won't we? Mr. Higgs. Not surprised to see you here. I'm 
a little surprised to see you. Just giving my well wishes to Miss Miller. You did the right thing rooting out that ruffian. The town is better for it. Thanks. I'm not used to people saying things like that. <laughs> you may have to get used to it. What you did helped everyone. Really bolstered the common good. Be proud. Common good. I've heard that before. Common good. Common good. Common good. Common good. Common good shit, right? I know what she'll say. Calm down. Think of the common good. Don't understand. It's not that easy to leave. Supplier? Get out the way! Something's missing. How did Declan know I was meeting Dennis? I heard you messed up Dennis pretty good last night. Pretty good. Check on Joan. Who overheard me and Dennis talking? Who told Declan? Your barroom brawl. I'd be best to prevent you from following that other man outside. Have you met Hugh? He took over the old pharmacy just after you left. Nick suspected a drug ring flourished after the mine closed. I was afraid you'd end up like your friend. I'm in good. I'm in good. I'm in good. Young man, is everything all right? I was lost in thought, and I've been lost in thought a lot lately. Oh, yes, yes. I'm sure you have a lot to think about. Nick never put it together. He was too close. It was you. What exactly are you trying to say? It wasn't enough to be a pill mill like every other two-bit pharmacy. You've been skimming. Extra boxes lost, records forged, ending up with Declan. Nah. That is a very serious accusation. The kind that without proof would never hold up. The court of public opinion doesn't need documentation or a trail of evidence. Three people are dead. Their trails all lead back to you. You seem to have me confused for a criminal mastermind. I'm just a small town businessman. I go where there's opportunity. And I've helped this town. I've created jobs. I've invested. I never forced anyone to do anything. I've only given people what they wanted, what they needed. I was here. I rolled up my sleeves and I got to work. Where were you? Three. There are three dead people at your feet and one person badly injured. Don't pretend anything excuses that. I'm not asking for you to explain. I just wanted you to know. I wanted to look you in the eye before I brought your whole world down. Joe, Kathy, Joan. 
Don't you threaten them. I would never. But you do. Why do you think Nick never wrote his article? Never went to the police? He never finished his work because you killed him before he could. I am not, nor have I ever been a violent man. Others I've worked with, a little girl's future and a girlfriend with an aging father, both cost money. People always find ways to get what they want. The question is who profits? Criminals, mobsters, lowlifes? Take out the middleman and a worse one slides in. Nick understood as much. He wasn't like that. You didn't know him. Did you? He was going to bury the story. It doesn't matter what lies you tell. I knew who Nick really was. Admirable, if misguided. People rarely show their friends who they really are. What Nick did is irrelevant. What matters is what you'll be doing. If you drop this misguided effort to accuse a kindly old man of heinous acts, I promise Kathy, Joe, and Joan will want for nothing. However, if you follow through with this foolishness, I only doubt I'd spend even a single day behind bars. I'm old. I have money and lawyers, and when I speak, people listen. But what of Nick? Who took bribe, buried the truth? What will his daughter think? When I have no choice but to reveal he is just another dirty reporter. And let's not forget poor Kathy, who worked directly for me. It would at least cost her her job. Isn't being a single parent hard enough? Don't throw their lives away, Sam. Learn from your mistakes. You can do whatever you want. I'm gonna finish what Nick started. Maybe you'll go to jail, maybe not. But people will know what you did. And they'll all know the common good never factored in. You did it all for yourself. And I'll make sure the life you've built burns for it. Well, folks, I hope you've got your seatbelts on, because we've got one nasty story coming up. Two years ago, West Virginia, a small mining town loses its mind. Income plummets, unemployment skyrockets. The stage is set for an unscrupulous pharmacist to roll into town. Two years later, over one million pills were shipped to the small West Virginia town of Basswood. Many sold right here on our streets. The article by journalist Samuel Higgs goes on. Information brought to light in this article led to the investigation of Hugh Kirkland, a seemingly respectable senior who turned out to be the mastermind behind this pill mill scheme. The Basswood Police Department is now under investigation. Oh, how the small town of Basswood can recover from such a blow is anyone's guess. All right, time to kick up your feet on the deck. Um.
jockey, a lady spitting at the Nicky Jacks, businessman with a needle and a spoon, coyote chewing on a cigarette pack of young boys going howling at the moon, head darling, sleeping on the black top, head darling, running through the trees, honey, head darling, leaving for the next town, lesson my sense catches up with me. On the number four, two witnesses blowing up high. Not sure whose will be done. You can call me a sinner for wondering why. Head darling, sleeping on the black top. Head darling, running through the trees, honey. Head darling, leaving for the next time. Lesson my sense catches up with me. Tastes sweeter in this town Could it be it's the same as the last I swear I've seen your face elsewhere before Just as familiar as a bottle and a glass Hey darling, sleeping on the black top Hey darling, running through the trees, honey Hey darling, leaving for the next town Lesson my sense catches up with me Hey darling, sleeping on the black top Hey darling, running through the trees, honey Hey darling, leaving for the next town Lesson my sense catches up with me Catches up with me